so very good afternoon everyone in this video i am going to discuss about some of the important points related to animal experimentations as per cbcsca guideline as earlier we have discussed about uh, how to construct animal house facility what are the requirements in the animal house facilities to get a registration number from cbcsca and after getting that is uh, registration of animal house facility how to constitute an institutional animal ethics committee what is its functions what is the role of institutional biosafety committee uh, so all these things we have discussed in the earlier video uh, in this video i have just added a few important points when we are uh, dealing with animal experimentations so first point is uh, regarding blood volume so as per cbcsa guidelines it should not exceed one percent of body weight when you are collecting a blood from the animal it should not exceed one percent of body weight and another important things regarding blood collection is suppose today you have collected a blood from uh, one animal and tomorrow you are all again going to collect a blood from same animal so it's not permitted uh, you have to be give at least four weeks gap and then after four week gaps you can uh, use that same animals for the blood collection so uh, you have to be maybe repeated only after four weeks it's required four weeks rest is required another thing uh, these are the some of the anesthetic agents approved by cpcsca when you are you would like to anesthetize a patient uh, not sorry not patient animals so your ketamine thiopentan sodium urethane etc are approved anesthetic agents uh, for animals atropine is also approved and it's uh, as uh, many of you might know about it's a anticholinergic drugs and it reduces the secretions so it's used as a pre anesthetic medications and helpful when we are going to do uh, uh, any surgical procedures in the animals ketamine plus gilazine ketamine atmg per kg gilazine nmg per kg ip for mouse is approved by cpcsca Ketamine for rat is say, 75 mg and gelatin is 10 mg per kg. Ketamine is your dissociative anesthetic. Uh, it inhibits the NMDA receptors and gelatin is your alpha 2 uh, receptor agonist and alpha 2 is your uh, receptor is present on presynaptic membrane and it prolongs the sedations and also uh, do the muscle relaxation. So that's why we combine ketamine plus gelatin to uh, uh, to uh, potentiate the actions of ketamine because ketamine will not result in the muscle relaxation and to prolong the sedations we add gelatin so it's approved by the cpcsa these combinations as an aesthetic agents in my uh, mice or rats uh, there is another thing is uh, echinacea echinacea means uh, when we are going to sacrifice the animal so you can use overdose of thiopentan sodium ketamine or inhalational ga gases like CO2 or halothane can also be used for this. Uh, sometimes we are using in laboratory cervical dislocations also to minimize the effect of these uh, uh, thiopentan sodium, ketamine or other agents. But cervical dislocations should not be used if the uh, animal weight is more than 200 grams. So particularly cervical dislocation is recommended for the sacrifice of small animals. So these are the some of the important points related to animal experimentations. I hope uh, you will get an idea. Thank you.